My hard copy of Mr. President by GMT Games has arrived, and we're going to show you the components by putting everything back in the box here on Legendary Tactics. As you might have noticed from the photo in the intro, Mr. President is a pretty big game. Um, <laughs> just giving a, a quick look at the board here, there's the board, the counters, and lots of booklets. Uh, lots of player aids. But we'll first look at the crisis cards, and these are uh, different types of crisis cards. Some of them are cascading events, some of them are one-time events, some of them are natural disasters, some of them are terror-related. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff there. There's lots of counters. Now there's no counter uh, storage provided in the box at all, so um, we're all going to have to figure out uh, how we're going to uh, store these things and organize them. Um, so if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. Um, the, uh, here's another quick look at, the, uh, at some more of the, the cards. Um, very good quality, nice and shiny, um, and uh, typical uh, GMT quality. I'm just going to put this one back in the shrink wrap, though, so I, uh, I make sure it's in fine shape for our, our fir first playthrough. And uh, we'll just put the Crisis cards back in the box. They fit nicely in the bottom in the uh, little gap there um, and again not uh, it's it's kind of an interesting game it's a massive game but it's actually the components are fairly simple overall uh, we only have two uh, dice which uh, one six-sided one ten-sided and uh, we've got a very big board and just to give you the the kind of the full scope here this is a, a pretty decent representation of what it looks like you can see it here uh, stretched out. That is it without the war uh, board and the uh, the place to store the counters. So <laughs> the board itself is very nicely uh, done. It's very uh, nicely mounted. It looks great. Um, and uh, But it's a big board. And so you're going to have to find some table space somewhere. Um, I'm going to, uh, these are these are all the booklets and just a quick pan over all the uh, those different parts. Um, the part of the board where the crisis cards are stored and the conflict tracks, strategic capability tracks, and all that good stuff. Uh, my son and daughter were helping with filming and uh, uh, and uh, reboxing today. Um, both uh, both kids love doing these kind of uh, videos, uh, mainly because they don't have to learn any rules. Um, so I'm going to put the boards back in the box. Those go nicely right on top there, and then you've got the war uh, card. And uh, that just goes uh, in there as well. And also the uh, place to store all the counters. Um, and that's a, a nice card. I can actually see this, um, if it becomes a, a massive success, I can see some potential for a second kind of edition or deluxe edition as well. Um, uh, something along the lines of what we've seen with uh, uh, Europa Universalis. You know, the, this, this could be that, that game. So anyway. Um, these are all the, the player aids, the different actions that are available to uh, the president. And uh, again, just another look at the, at, at the counters. I'm not going to punch them out until I know for sure exactly how I'm going to organize them. There's no, not a lot of room in the box either for any sort of uh, plastic container. So unless you're uh, willing to let the, uh, the top of the box not sit totally um, in, in where it should be, and pop up a little bit if you're okay with that then there's probably some some great solutions out there for uh, for storing these and organizing them um, there's not a, a tremendous amount really but um, but it is you know it is important to keep them together and organized so you can find stuff and then the booklets we have the scenario booklets um, lots of uh, different opportunities there to recreate some history um, we've got the presidential briefing now this is more of a designer's notes slash strategy guide um, and uh, then then we have the peer uh, groups this is what you use to walk through uh, with either China or Russia and the, when they when those two countries act you walk through the procedure in those booklets and then we have the um, this is a the ally and uh, rogue states uh, book that will uh, guide how the allies act as well as rogue states little procedures there world charts So anything that happens in the world um, You'll need to roll on these uh, charts and domestic charts anything that happens at home You're going to want to 
uh, use that booklet to see what happens, uh, what events happen there. Um, then we have uh, uh, the governing manual. Now this is the rule book. It's 48 pages long. Um, it's, a, it's a good, simple, straightforward read. I don't know if it's simple is the right word, but straightforward read. And I think it's uh, very well put together. Um, and the how to play, which is only eight pages. And I, in some ways I'd, I'd maybe recommend starting just with the how to play and then refer to the governing manual as needed. Although at some point you should read the governing manual through. And then you have the, uh, the turn uh, flip book. And this walks you through a turn. It's nice, it's bound, it's uh, laminated well. And, uh, and then of course we've got the letter from your predecessor, uh, which is a White House uh, tradition to um, get a letter from the person that held office just before you. And then we'll put the lid back on the box and spin it around and I as you might know I like to preserve my games make sure that they are as dust free as possible and and so I'm gonna ask my daughter to to rewrap this in the shrink wrap she's got a real talent for it and uh, really just need to kind of spin it around and and you'll find that the, the shrink wrap actually clings to the box pretty well and so uh, you can see her doing a fine job of uh, putting this back in shrink um, you can see the thickness of the box as well. This is a little bit thicker than your average uh, game uh, in general, GMT game in particular. Um, but uh, there's, there it is. We're going to put it back in the, uh, in the shipping box just to make sure it stays perfectly dry and safe. So that is the reboxing of Mr. President with all its components. And hopefully your game will be arriving soon. And we will talk to you next time here on Legendary Tactics. Thank <laughs> you.